hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday. Um, this is Prayer on the Porch, and we just got done praying, actually. Today we should call it Prayer on the Couch, because we pray on the couches, because it is very warm outside. But um, we are praying for you. If you have um, needs, I know some of you have commented that them on either the Springs uh, Facebook page or Miss Angelia's Facebook page, um, posts that she's put. Um, feel free to continue to comment those prayer requests. We will be continuing to pray for you uh, throughout the day and throughout the week. So uh, please feel free to use that. If you have any other needs that you'd um, like personal prayer for, you can always call the church office as well. So I just have a little um, a word of encouragement. And I thought that this, um, it's from Jesus Calling. And I thought that this, uh, today's um, devotional, excuse me, the word escaped me. Today's devotional um, really applies to where we're at, and I thought that maybe it would encourage you like it encouraged me, so I'm going to go ahead and read it to you. It says, I continually call you to closeness with me. I know the depth and breadth of your need for me. I, read, I can read the emptiness of your thoughts when they wander away from me. I offer rest for your soul as well as refreshment for your body and mind. As you increasingly find fulfillment in me, other pleasures become less important. Knowing me intimately is like having a private wellspring of joy within you. This spring flows freely from my throne of grace, so your joy is, depend is independent of circumstances. Waiting in my presence keeps you connected with me, aware of all that I offer you. If you feel any deficiency, you need to refocus your attention on me. This is how you trust me in the moments of your life. And um, a verse that it has below, it's um, Psalms 37, 7. It says, be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret when men succeed in their ways, when the, they carry out their wicked schemes. And I think that verse um, really kind of sounds like not only the world today, but sometimes just the world in general, but especially today when... Um, there's a lot of wickedness going on and a lot of a lot of crazy things, but it, it, it doesn't say freak out and panic and worry. It says, be still, wait patiently, and do not fret. Um, I think that's something we really need to hang on to in these times. And it says um, up above, like we just, we just read, it says, so your joy is independent of circumstances. And now a lot of people's circumstances don't look like we wish that they would. And a lot of um, circumstances have changed and, um, and honestly, even in this time, but always, circumstances can change just like that over and over and over again. But the one thing that will never change is God and his love for us and his mercy and his peace and his um, I am here-ness. <laughs> He's always here with us. And um, so I, I really like that, that our joy does not have to be dependent on our circumstances. Our joy is dependent on God. Um, and it says, if you feel any deficiency, you need to fo refocus your attention on me. And a lot of times I'll feel like, okay, I'm feeling, I'm feeling anxious, or I'm feeling worried, or I'm feeling fill in the blank. Um, but when I'm feeling that thing, I don't need to, um, to go, go talk to someone. I, don't, I mean, talking to people can help, but that what, what my soul really needs is to refocus on God and who he is and his goodness and his mercy and love. And so I'm going to um, also read another verse that they had. It says, Jeremiah um, 17, 7 and 8, it says, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. He is like the tree planted by water that sends out its roots by the stream. It does not fear when the heat comes, it, for its leaves remain green, and it is not anxious in the year of drought, for it does not cease to bear fruit. And um, I think as Christians, we can be like that tree. We don't have to worry when the, the heat and the hard times come or if there are seasons of drought because we've planted our life next to the, next to the river, the stream, the river of life, um, who is Christ. And we know that he's always going to be there to meet our needs and give us what we need. So I'm going to say a quick prayer, and then we will go about the rest of our day. Um, Lord, I thank you so much for who you are. I thank you that you can be a constant stream of, of joy and love and peace and strength and comfort in our lives, uh, no matter what's going on in our circumstances, in our, in our world. No matter what's going on, you are always there, and you are always um, uplifting us and holding us and keeping us safe. And um, I just, I lift up all of the needs that we've had, 
um, and the needs that we will continue to have. You know exactly um, who needs what and exactly what way they need it. And uh, I just pray that you will just be with them and show, show each of us individually in the way we need it who you are to us today. We thank you and we love you. Amen. Well, thank you for tuning in this morning. I hope that you are encouraged and I encourage you um, spend some time with God today. Really get in into the word and what he wants to say to you through it. So I hope you have a great rest of your Wednesday.